owning a vehicle for a longer period, you will f get to know the car really well. And then you find different small areas, pockets and spaces that uh, it's not obvious for a, a person that see the cars for the first time that they exist. And in this episode, we'll go through some of them in the Tesla Model 3. But first, some clips from our Sunday excursion out into nature, because this is one of the few things that you can do now in this awkward time of social distancing from each other. Not spending the time in shopping malls, sports events or other group entertainment activities. this spring all the plans of traveling have been cancelled. The yearly ski holiday that longtime followers to my channel know me for going on every year will not take place. And we will see if we can do any summer plans this year. Last year I took my Tesla all the way to Poland. Can I go this year? Only the future will tell. I feel sad for all the people that has been hit hard by the situation that we are in now. But I believe that the best thing I can do is to continue to spread the word about my electric car and show my Tesla and entertain to make life a little bit easier. So let's go and explore my Model 3. Well, under here there is two covers like this that you can open and uh, here is place for your mobile phone and this is also a large storage under here where you can put a lot of stuff bringing with you and uh, it's also good that you can actually keep it there hidden from people looking into the car from the outside. Here you also find two USB sockets that you can use for different tasks. For example, charging your phone. Also, I have a USB memory plugged in here that stores the Sentry Mood files. Files that is recorded from the outside cameras around the car. This function have just got some improvements and we'll talk about that later in the episode. I'm using this compartment to hide my camera when I'm leaving the car uh, so uh, people will not be able to uh, see that I have my valuable camera here. Well, it's maybe not so valuable, but uh, it's good to keep it there safe so uh, people will not see the camera from the outside. Hello? <laughs> well. There is also this uh, place here where you can see uh, where you can hold your hand. It's very convenient and uh, nice to sit here and see this one. But if you open this, there is also a place here. Here you can put some stuff like I have a pen here and extra USB drive. And here is also a compartment where you can put stuff. I wonder if my camera fits in here also. Let's see if it fits. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, it fits, definitely. Well, the Tesla Model 3 has a very minimalistic uh, style. And you can see we have only this screen and there is almost nothing here at all. Only this um, uh, hole here that you can see in the front, which is the vent where the air is blowing out and you can adjust the air uh, from uh, uh, the touch screen here via this interface. Now it's turned off, but I can turn it on and then you can uh, adjust this um, uh, 
circulation of air here you can see how the air is flowing and I can adjust it like this move it in this direction and it will blow in another direction and you can go up with it and you can go down it and you can even separate it like this with your fingers but this has nothing to do with the uh, with this um, hidden compartments it's just just cool but this is this hole here but what about the glove box is there any glove box here in this car yes it is actually then you have to press here and here it stands glove box but where is the glove box it's here yeah there is a small glove box but um, I wonder if the camera fits here. Can I close it with the camera? No, it doesn't work. You can't fit it. There. It's quite a tiny glove box, but it works for some papers and documents. If you are uh, only two people here in the back, you can fold down this thing here. And here there is some cup holders if you have something if you would like to have something for drink and something like that well for your clothes there is this uh, small holder here where you can push this one and you can hang your jacket or whatever you need to transport with you when going on a trip for traditional car owners they know that here is the engine where you go in and check your oil and and do other stuff to make maintenance but uh, in a Tesla it's different <clears throat> look here I will open this yes let's see here and we open it and here is also a compartment where you can put stuff when you're going on longer trips and for sure, in this compartment here, my camera is uh, without any issue, without any problem fitting. Well, in the trunk, this is the place where you put stuff in your car, right? In every car you have the storage in the trunk. And the same goes for the Tesla. But how much space is there here actually in this car? Let's see. Well, it's quite small opening here, but it's really wide, deep hole in here. Yeah, so it's quite a lot of space in here and it is uh, uh, actually surprisingly how much you can fit in this car while going on a longer trip but wait it's more well in here there is some small space here a hole here where you can put stuff here here i have some washing for the windows and a fire extinction and a kit for emergency repair of the tire but as you, see, as you can see it's quite deep in here so for small stuff like this it's good to put put it here can keep it there like that on this side there is nothing like that but what is under here look here oh there is a huge space under here also where you can put all the kinds of things I have a first aid kit here and uh, my charging cables and some other stuff that is laying around here well, that is a useful space to put stuff that you don't find any other place for when going on a long distance trip. As you can see, there is a security button to open if someone should be stuck there inside the trunk. Well, I forgot to open one here. Well, there you go, some places and spaces where you can Put stuff in your car. Maybe you know of any other place in the Tesla Model 3 that I didn't cover in this episode 
write in the comment and uh, maybe I will learn something more about my card that I didn't know. Just a few days before I published this episode, a new software update came to my Tesla Model 3. And that is a, a very much requested update. It's a, a Sentry Mood player. Uh, so you can play your Sentry Mood and your movies that is recorded here in the Tesla direct on this screen that I have here in front of me. And, uh, uh, well, let's see how it works. I will activate the sentry mood now and I'll go out and uh, go around the car and uh, we'll see how it works. So now when I'm coming back to the car, uh, there is sentry mood events reported here, two of them even, and you can tap to view directly. And what is happening? The sentry mood player is displayed. Yeah, here is a burglar. Look here. Here is someone going around and doing different things. What was he doing here? was happening something here or not yeah there is this guy coming here very suspicious checking my car well who could it be <laughs> it's me that is playing the, the bad guy here in this moment And then he's going backwards, so you can go to the rear, and then you can go to the left and see there how he is looking into the car. This is a really good feature, uh, and I'm so happy that Tesla finally introduced this. And I don't know if they have been listening to me. Uh, I made an episode half a, more than half a year ago, almost one year ago, that I proposed this option. But if you bring out the USB stick from the car and bring it to your computer like you were forced to do before when you want to watch what have happened with your car in a Sentry event, then you will find out that in the folder of the event there is two more files, a thumbnail and a code file. And if you open this code file in Notepad, you will find some metadata about the event, place and time and reason for the event. There is one thing that I would like to add to this player, which would be really great, is that if you tap this and scroll it here, it should go fast so you would see what is happening here you could see this guy where what where was he now you are standing here and when you move here you come there but if you want to seek something very quickly that happened around the car you should be able to pull this one and fast forward the picture depending on when I'm going back and forward in the movie that would be the optimal function for this. So you quickly could uh, seek over the sequence to find the actual uh, uh, thing that triggered 
this event. This was actually possible to do on your computer with earlier Sentry Mood files, but approximately half a year ago the file format changed in the Tesla, so now it's not working even on a PC standard player. If you would like to open the viewer without a triggered Sentry Mood event, you click the small camera icon when having the car in park and then a menu appears from where you can open the viewer. Well, another much requested feature that has been added to my car. Isn't that cool? Thanks the Tesla team that participated in developing this software. But remember, it's always place for improvements. <laughs> Well, if you like my YouTube channel, uh, please don't hesitate to subscribe to it if you haven't already. It would be really great if we could reach 2,000 subscribers on my channel, right? And don't forget to hit the notification bell also, so you will get a small alert when the next episode will come on my channel. Uh, and also, if you plan to buy a Tesla, Model 3, S or X, you can use my refer link that uh, will give you some free supercharging to your brand new car. Well, in this difficult time for many of us today, uh, anyway, we should try, until next time, we should try to do our best to have so great life as possible.